Right, because of this, uh, the boiler's kettling, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bleed the system and put some chemical in to try and dislodge all the sludge and the uh, build up in the boiler. First thing we've got to do is make sure you turn everything off before you bleed your system. Right, <coughs> I've fitted a hose to the, um, the lowest radiator in the house. I'm just going to undo this valve. When draining your system, you might find you've got another couple radiators with a bleed off valve. Um, I, th I think they need to be done separately as well. So I put the hose, moved the hose from the other radiator, tightened it up, and I put the hose on this one, this small rad in the bathroom. Open that up, drain that off as well to make sure the system's completely free. Right, there's my hose. One thing to notice, it does look quite clean, the water is. It doesn't look like there's any crap in there. Let's put that in there. Because all the mains is off to the heating, you can latch these valves over. Um, just get underneath it. It's a little lever. Pull it and hook it over the end. There's another one down here as well. Just latch it into the open position. Now all the radiators upstairs are open. I can hear the air getting sucked in. I'm going to then go downstairs and start to open the bleed valves on the downstairs radiators. You can see there's no pressure in there at all now. I'm just about to see on the gauge that the pressure's falling. I've undone the the bleed valves on all the radiators at the top of the house. Make sure the water supply to this is a tap here, just through there. That should be in the off position at all times. I'm just going to undo this, let a bit of air into the system. This is the highest point. Just turn the screws nicely. Now I've got a nice funnel, I've got an old petrol can. Right, get it nicely on there. What I'm going to do now is turn the top off. So the system's completely drained. I've put all the, um, the drain off at the bottom where the hose was, that's all shut down. And I've turned all the radiator bleed valves back off again. I'm going to put this fluid in here. Okay, treat 125 litres. That should do us. I'll put the rest in and I'll put the camera down. Cleaner. It's back in the system. I've shut all the valves back off. All the bleed nipples are closed down. I'm going to fill the system back up with water and then bleed the system to get rid of any airlocks. It doesn't say on here, once this cleaner's in, how long you leave it in for. Done a bit of research on the internet and it's sort of suggestion is you leave the cleaners in for a couple of days, you bleed it out, drain all the water, flush it all through, and then top up with inhibitor. So I'm going to leave it in for three or four days and see what the boiler sounds like. So this is a closed system. We use this valve here to refill. I should see the gauge start to go up. as she goes slowly. It's a good time to go around and just check all the radiators at this point just in case uh, you've left something open. I've bled the system oh, numerous times, kept refilling, I've closed off the fuel tap. I'm going to leave this just under one bar and we're going to fire the heating up. Checked all the radiators, all the bleed valves are off, no leaks. Right, here we are, switch back on, heating's on, cranked up, gone round to bled all the radiators again. Now, I left the cleaner in for about four days. Now, our heating's only on a couple hours in the morning, a couple hours in the evening. Instructions didn't say um, how long to leave it in for. Anyway, it's all gone, flushed out. I 
can't hear any kettle in, in the boiler at all. Now, either it's done a fantastic job, or it was an airlock in the boiler, I, I'm not sure. Anyway, again, this is how I've done the job. Um, I'm not qualified to teach people how to do this. I've just done it using a bit of common sense. Um, and, you know, you've got to be careful if you do this sort of thing at home. I've got stress, I'm not trained to do this. Um, but I've probably saved a few hundred quid. And the boiler's ticking away. I've got to put some inhibitor in the system. We're going to let it run for a few days, see how we go. That's it.